Welcome back to the bongo. Welcome back. Um, today we're doing, what we're we doing? The front grill. Um, there's some chips and stuff you'll see in a minute. Um, or some flaking paint and stuff. So I'm just going to give it a quick, well, I mean quick, blast with the, uh, the rattle cans um, and a bit of lacquer over it. Um, and see how we get on. So I've got some old wheel lacquer that I'm going to use. But I'm not 100% sure if it's going to come out alright, but we'll soon find out. I'm not that bothered to be honest but just to make it look a bit more presentable. So let's get started. So you can see here, this is obviously the grill, but all along here we've got like lacquer peel, paint peel, all that sort of stuff. And it just looks a bit grubby. So I'm gonna take this off and repaint it basically. So there's a T20 Torx bit here. Take that out. I've already taken this clip out, they just sort of uh, pull out. Another one there, and then one just there, and one there. Oh, that one's already out as well. Oh, something's broken. Oh well, we'll sort that out. Right, that's a bit free now, so that should just pull off, uh, hopefully. Right, I've got the grill off. Dennis is just inspecting it. Um, yeah, like I said before, see all of this sort of chip in there and that, but it's a bit grubby. But it should come up right, it's all there's no cracks in it or anything like that. So, I'm gonna um, mask and tape off what I need. I was tempted to do these black. What do you reckon, Dennis? Don't know, don't know if that looked quite cool or not. I know some people, um. They sort of cut the uh, like Dremel along here and then fill like the little hole that's there and sort of make it good and then put a grill in. You know that sort of uh, cheap um, grill mesh thing from Halfords and they put that in there so it looks a bit more race car but I'm not going to do that because I can't be bothered so I'm just going to make it look a bit nicer. But I don't know whether to do this black or not. It's, it looks like it's been painted before because there's a lot of. Uh, you see that? A lot of run along there. See the drips? Sorry about the shoddy camera work here. But yeah, I just don't think they did a very good job. But then again, I'm probably not going to do a very good job either, so whatever. Actually, looks like it's been hand painted with a brush. Yeah, that's because it's on the logo as well. Anyway, right, I'm going to go mask this off and give it a, a quick paint. Aren't we, Dennis? Oh, he's eating some grass. Right, I've given it a good clean. Now there's a bug on it. But, yeah, I've just given it a good wash. I've used that um, Stiana gloss, if that's how you say it. Uh, the forced... Um, which is like a citrus pre-creep, yeah, yeah, pre-cleaner. Um, it's just like dissolves anything that's nasty on there, gets it off a lot easier. But uh, and then I've just rinsed it down with water, hence the puddle. So I'm just leaving it out to dry in the sun for a minute because it's a nice day. So might as well use the sun to dry it off, um, and then I'm gonna give it a coat. Right, I've gone over it all with some sandpaper after I've cleaned it, just to flatten it out a little bit and just give it something to something for the uh, paint to attach to, so it grips a bit better. Taking out all these drips and stuff that were on there, it was like a high bit there. So now I'm just going to uh, give it a coat of this. I've just gone to the local uh, paint shop thing, body shop, um, gave them the code which I can't remember what it was, I think it's one of those 3L, 4G things. Oh, there you go, Silverstone. Yeah, they just mix it up and I think it was like six quid or something for that. Um, I've done a little test and it is exactly the same, so perfect. But yeah, it is a 2K base coat. I know that 2K thing does mean something. No idea what it means. I think it's to do like the shine or so, I don't know. Comment below if you know what that means. But yeah, obviously I'm going to do a clear coat oh sorry 
clear coat afterwards on it and just make it nice and shiny. So I'm going to give it a coat of this now, give it a good shake up first and then give it a coat. So there's the first coat on, just sort of use an old cardboard box to get it off, uh, off the floor and just evenly put a light coat on it and just uh, hope for the best really. Little masking tape's holding up pretty well. But yeah, you can already see that it's like a really nice sort of glitter to it from that silver stone paint code, paint colour, whatever. Yeah, looking good so far. Right, I've done several coats of paint and about two or three coats of clear coat. Just an old uh, one of them does the job. And I think you can see it's come out pretty well. There is a slight drip mark there, I've just noticed, but compared to what it was, I thought I'd just show you the peeling this off. It's always fun. But yeah, there's a drip there. I'll probably just try and polish that out as well, sand it off. But yeah, not too bad, I don't think. So I'm going to give this logo a little clean and then um, go and fit it. Hey guys, she's back on. Looking a million times better. I'm just looking. I don't know if it's that. I don't know if it shows on the camera. I get the impression that there's a slight yellow tinge to it. I don't know if it's that lacquer. I don't know. What do you think? But yes, yeah, I mean, it's a million, million times better than what it was. There's no big, no big flakes there anymore, which is great. And it seems to blend in, I think. Not too bad. But yeah, done. But I mean, it's not perfect because I think it's that lacquer. I think it's, uh, might be where it's older now. I'm not a paint specialist person um, that knows about lacquers and stuff. Maybe wheel lacquer is a little bit yellower, or maybe it's on too thick. I don't know. But it looks alright. Um, I am doing the side panels of the bongo, but I'm using a clear coat lacquer thing that I've used before on my old MX-5, and that is, I know that comes out clear, um, and it's a really good finish, so I'm doing the side of the van, probably in the next video I expect, um, so you'll see that. So subscribe below if you haven't, hit the little doodah there. Um, yeah, I think that's probably going to be the next video. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.